I'm Monica and this is John and we're graduate students here at Florida State University and um, we are conducting a research assignment on Sears and we'd like to ask you a few questions regarding the consumer insights and overarching brand. Sure. Uh, would you be interested in participating in our quick survey? Yes ma'am. Awesome. So to do that I just want to make sure that I have your consent to gather the data and make sure that I have it all on video. You've got it. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So question number one, in your opinion, what are the primary reasons that drive customers to shop at Sears? Um, I think brand recognition and um, and that they have a variety, you know, they have a variety of things. I mean, they even had furniture because mm -hmm. I bought a couch today. Oh, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> Great. So then on the contrary, mm -hmm. in your opinion, what are the primary reasons that might drive customers away from shopping at Sears? Well, you know, almost the same reason that it drives you to maybe that they're not, they don't, um, they don't, they're not real specific. You know, they have something that they specialize in. Sure. You know, I mean, I think you used to, you used to know Sears about their tools. Like mm -hmm. everyone knew Sears for tools. Right. I think they tried to branch out so much. Okay. That I think that could hurt them. I think that could hurt them too. Maybe Absolutely. Maybe they've gotten too right. So. Okay. So question number three, just as an expandment after question number two, mm -hmm. out of the three current business problems that I'm going to list to you, okay. which do you think has the biggest impact on Sears' success? Okay. Outdated stores and inventory is one. Mm -hmm. Poor customer service and appliance repair is two. Mm -hmm. And better competition is three. Mm. I think it's outdated stores. You do? I do. I think that they look, you know, they, yeah, you can definitely, I mean, the, when you come in, you can definitely tell they're dated. Okay, so more so, so appearance versus actual merchandise, or a little bit of both. Uh, no, I think I think appearance. Okay, I think appearance. Absolutely. You know, kind of the difference between going into Target or going into Walmart. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times it's the same product, but it's Walmart looks yeah. looks better. Yeah. You know, no. looks hipper. It's clean. Exactly. Yeah. Number four. Why do you think so many Sears locations are being closed throughout the nation? You know, I don't know for sure, other than just from what you pick up from the news, it sounds like they're not doing well financially. Mm -hmm. So you say, oh, they're not, you know, they're not, they're not making enough money, so right. they're closing stores. Right, so, keeping up with competition. Right, right. Yeah. And then the fifth and final question, mm -hmm. what changes can be made to improve consumer perceptions of Sears department stores? Ah, interesting. Okay, <laughs> so, well, I think updating, updating the look, mm -hmm. um, I think can help a lot. Um, I think they're going to have to do something better as a... I run a, I run social media for my church, okay. just as a total side note. And so, following social media as much as I do, people get fifty percent right. of their news from social from media. social media. And so, you see those things out there that Sears is closing down, Sears is taking a hit, Sears um, they've they've absorbed or they've um, joined with Kmart, mm -hmm. and so and Kmart's failing too. So it seems like they're not making wise decisions. Mm -hmm. My husband works in the tire industry, okay. So I know that they used to have a whole automotive section that's gone away mm -hmm. and so it just seems like you keep hearing over and over and over again about how they're failing not how they're succeeding mm -hmm. so if we could if you could hear more about how they were succeeding i think perception would change too awesome so. well thank you so much there you go that was painless <laughs> no yeah thank so, you hopefully no one recognizes me okay no. and then could i just maybe oh. have Ready? Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is John O'Day and I'm paired with uh, Monica Little today and we're working on our ethnographic research. Um, today we are interviewing a Sears manager um, and what is your name sir? Uh, Willie Saffert. Willie Saffert and he'll be answering a few questions on the uh, employee perceptions about Sears and its brand. So just before, uh, we are conducting a research assignment on Sears and would like to ask you a few questions regarding the company's overarching brand. Would you be interested in participating in a quick five question interview? Sure. And um, in order to gather your data, do we have permission to record these responses via audio? Sure. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So question number one, in your opinion, what are the primary reasons that drive customers to shop at Sears? Well, brand recognition is the one piece. When you get the Kim Moore brand, uh, which is in probably one out of five households in the United States. I mean, brand recognition, the Craftsman brand, uh, and then the overall experience. Uh, Sears has some of the most knowledgeable associates when it comes to major appliances in the business. I mean, we know the ins and outs, the sizes, and all that good stuff. That's Absolutely. Right. All right. Thank you. Um, and kind of on the other side, 
In your opinion, what are the primary reasons that might drive customers away from Sears? Well, some of the negative press that you get at times from uh, from the media is one. Uh, secondly, is the uh, online shopping, and it's not only Sears; it's every big box retailer is experiencing a, a decline in sales due to online shopping. Uh, a lot of people want it now, uh, especially a lot of the millennials that are not uh, uh, that don't show loyalty to companies or what have you. And, so it's getting out in the shop online, and that's what drives customers pretty much away from the stores. Understandable, definitely. And out of these three following business problems, which do you think has the biz biggest impact on Sears so success? So this is kind of following up on that past question. Mm -hmm. um, outdated stores or inventory, uh, poor customer service or appliance repairs, or C, better competition? Well, uh, I have to resort to the to the latter of all of them and go to, to competition. I mean at one point uh, Sears was the the only game pretty much in town so to speak. Now you have the lowest the home depots of the world and again uh, we still get a fair share of those customers that come in and they seek the product knowledge again from the associates that's in the store and then uh, pricing and sometimes leads customers somewhere else but as far as the overall shopping experience you won't get a better experience. Sears. Absolutely. And um, a fourth question, why do you think a number of Sears locations have been closing throughout the country? Well, that's due to, uh, again, tagging on to the, the first couple of questions that you've asked, uh, exactly. online shopping, Definitely. and when, you, you, when sales decline, you can't just keep the box open if you don't have foot traffic. And so that's some of the reason, and then the profitability of some of those stores. Uh, don't continue to invest in stuff and that's becoming an, an, an expense for you when it should have been done at Absolutely. And lastly, this is going to be the last question. You what, sure? Yes, yes. <laughs> what changes can be made to improve customer perceptions of Sears department stores? Well, it's funny, I was just having this conversation earlier today. Um, retail as we used to know it, I don't think we'll ever come back. I don't think we'll ever go back to days where Stores are just completely filled with people. People they are in such a, a, a huge hurry now. I'll sit and I'll point and I'll click and I'll have it shipped to me versus getting up, going out and shopping uh, in a store. So I don't think those days will ever come back, but you can leverage what you do have. And what we do have at times is the footsteps and the opportunities that we do get. You got to be able to give a great customer experience so that that customer understands that, hey, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to buy from Bob because Bob took care of me versus going out and just buying from anybody. Absolutely. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, thank you so much, cool. sir. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you so much.